Hi friends! Today I wanted to share with you a few different ways that I love to use stock photos with my iPad lettering. First, I wanted to say thank you to Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. Storyblocks is a membership site that gives you access to a huge variety of high quality photos, vectors, icons, and more in their member library of 400,000 images where you can save 60% on marketplace content. They have a huge variety of categories that you can look through, and I personally like to search by keyword, so I like to type in things like desktop, or mock-up, or floral background, or even watercolor when I'm doing textured lettering, which I will show you in this video as well. Storyblocks is also giving you a free 7-day trial so that you can download all the high-res stock images, vectors, and backgrounds that you might need for your social media or hand-lettered projects. You can go to storyblocks.com YouTube or I will leave a link in the description box below so you can go there to sign up for your free seven days and start downloading today. So thank you again to Storyblocks for sponsoring this video and I can't wait to see all of the projects that you create using your stock photos and your iPad lettering. If you follow me on social media or have visited my website, you already know that I love to use stock photos as my backgrounds and textures in my lettering. Today I want to show you four unique ways to use these stock photos with your iPad lettering. The first project that I'm going to show you is how to use a stock photo as an art print with your lettering. I personally love nature scenes, but I'm not a photographer and I'd never be able to take a picture that's high quality enough to print in a really large size. So I just looked through the nature scenes until I found one that would match the quote that I wanted to letter. First, download the images to your computer. Just make sure that you choose the JPEG form if you're wanting to send them to Procreate. Once you've downloaded them, you can send them to your iPad by using AirDrop or Dropbox or even just emailing them to yourself if that's easier. You can then import the image by selecting the wrench tool and choosing Insert Flat Image. Make sure you're using a properly sized canvas if you plan to print these out really large so that the photo quality is good enough for printing. You can just stretch the photo a little bit over your canvas until you get rid of all of the white edges and until it's even. So then you can add a new layer over top of your photo to letter on and make sure you don't skip this step because you'll most likely want to rearrange and resize things and if you letter straight onto the picture it's a lot harder to move your lettering around. So since a lot of the pictures that I liked were really busy and had a lot of colors going on rather than just a solid color. I like to make my lettering pop a bit by adding a shadow. You can do this by creating a duplicate layer of your lettering and then choosing that layer that's on the bottom and using two fingers to swipe left on the layer. This turns your alpha lock on and lets you color in the layer of that lettering without coloring in everything else around it. I personally like to use a darker color to this which helps it pop. You can use black or you can color match a darker color in the photo by using the color finder. Then you can select the entire box of lettering and tap your pen or your finger to the bottom right corner of your iPad screen. This is just going to move it down ever so slightly without letting it go too far. So you can just keep tapping until you have your lettering in the exact place that you want it. Once you're done, you can save your art, print it out, and cut it to size. This will make a great personalized gift and is also a super inexpensive way to decorate your home with custom art. The next project that I want to show you is one of my favorite projects that I have ever done. I started by searching through the illustrations on Storyblocks and I found this beautiful floral background that I thought would be perfect to make some encouragement cards. And I love that, that it came in a few different color schemes so I chose three of them that I loved and I saved them as a JPEG and imported them into Procreate just like the first project. But then I added two extra layers, one I colored black and the other I colored white and use them to create a matted look in the middle of my photo. You can fill in your layers with color by simply touching the circle at the top right of the screen and dragging it down onto your canvas and dropping the color onto the canvas. You just have to make sure that you have the right canvas on top when you're doing this. You can then resize until you get the look that you're going for. I personally wanted it to be a big enough space to write but I also wanted a lot of the florals to show on the edge. So once I did this, I combined the two layers together and then I made a duplicate of them so that if I wanted to create another project like this, I could easily copy and paste them onto the other canvas and they would still be identical in size. So the next thing I did was put down another layer and drew over it with a grid brush that's found in Procreate in the textures section. 
This just helps to keep things more uniform and since everything in this project was a specific size, I wanted to make sure that my lettering was evenly spaced and not slanted. So once I'm done with that, I finally added a top layer onto my letter lettering project for me to letter on. After I wrote a few sayings and saved them each individually, I printed them out into a little packet of three and tied them together. I absolutely love how these turned out so much and I think they'll make the perfect Christmas gifts and I plan to make a few more and post them as a free printable on my blog. So make sure to check those out if you are interested. Also if you do use the grid brush as a guide, just make sure that you go back and delete that layer before you print so that you don't see those grid marks when you have your final product. The third project that I want to show you is probably the way that I use stock photos the most often and that's on social media. I am personally a huge fan of the desktop or notebook photos, but there are also photos that have t-shirt mockups or blank mugs if you create those types of things with your lettering and want to showcase them. You simply add your photo to Procreate, insert another layer and on top and begin your lettering. I like to start with a square canvas and crop my photo that way since the main social media platform that I use is Instagram and they support square photos. So once you're done, you can save it to your computer and upload to Instagram straight from your iPad. I personally don't love typing on the iPad, so I usually just upload my photo and then grab my phone quickly and add the caption right away. The last project that I want to show you is watercolor lettering. Watercolor lettering is such a fun way to add texture to your lettering, and Storyblocks has a section of watercolor backgrounds that you can use to create this look. To do this in Procreate, we're just going to insert our image and then add another layer onto the top. Instead of just stretching out the canvas, um, I like to just add two side by side so that you can get all the little details because only a little bit of the watercolor is going to show through to our lettering. Once we add our extra layer on top, we're then going to use the color drop feature to turn that top layer white. Instead of lettering with a brush, we are going to letter with our eraser. So you can click into the eraser and change the brush settings and sizes. You then can letter over your white layer, which allows the watercolor texture to show through to your lettering and give it this super pretty watercolor texture look. So I hope that this video helped you find a few new things that you can do with your iPad lettering. Like I said, Storyblocks is giving away a seven day free trial so that you can get all of the high res stock images, vectors, and backgrounds that you need. So if you would like to make any of these projects, simply go to storyblocks.com YouTube or check out the link in the description box below to sign up for your free seven days and start downloading today. Thank you again to Storyblocks for sponsoring this video and I can't wait to see what you do with your iPad lettering and your stock photos. Make sure to follow along on Instagram. It is just at howtohandletter and tag me in your handlettered photos so that I can check them out over there. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.